name is Pioneer Stella, and I'm about to start my journey on the Oregon Trail. I will be heading from here, Salt Lake City, north, to start my journey on the Oregon Trail. Today, day one on the Oregon Trail, I am learning the challenges of cooking food on the Oregon Trail from Pioneers. I am learning it is very hard to start a fire on the Oregon Trail, even with good weather conditions. Pioneers luckily had many techniques to start a fire. One technique was taking flint and steel and starting a fire through a sunlight directly to the glass. Then, if that worked, they would luckily get to make a meal with and get a hot, warm meal. When our weather is bad on the Oregon Trail, we are not able to start a fire. We have to put all of our material away. So right now, for instance, it is really not good weather to start a fire and we can't do it. So we have to eat something called hardtack. Hardtack is flour and water combined together that we prepared before the Oregon Trail. It's our best option right now because we don't want to eat cow poop. While traveling on the Oregon Trail right now, us pioneers are facing many challenges with shelter. Some of our families can sleep in a covered wagon with a certain setup like that one. This is one of the covered wagons on the Oregon Trail. This is a sleeping setup on the Oregon Trail. With these weather conditions, we are not able to cook in the Oregon Trail, and at night, it is very cold. Cholera is a de deadly disease on the Oregon Trail. Cholera is caused by dirty water along the Oregon Trail. Luckily, I'm surviving through this very harmful disease. Cholera is one of the main course of death on the Oregon Trail. Cholera is taking one third of our pioneers out on the Oregon Trail. Cholera can kill us pioneers in a, less than a day. Cholera is one of my biggest fears on the Oregon Trail. L Luckily, I'm surviving through it. Here's some clean water on the Oregon Trail. I'm back home in Salt Lake City where I left for my journey, and luckily, I survived on the Oregon Trail. Thank you for watching.